Hello there, Tender back with another Watch Kids tutorial. Well, not another one. This is my first Watch Kids tutorial for YouTube. Now, basically, uh, this is a watch, uh, an Apple Watch app, and what this does is it's a guessing game. Um, so basically, it generates a random number, and then you have to guess that random number, and it counts how many tries you take. So it's both for the iPhone. Um, and the Apple Watch. So first I'll start off by showing you the um, uh, iPhone edition and then I'll show you the Apple Watch edition. So if I uh, try to make a number bigger here, I make my guess bigger on the iPhone and I click submit, 8 is too small and also it generates numbers between 1 and 30. So 8 is too small meaning it's between 8 and 30. If I increase it so now it's in between 13 and 30. 18 and 30. Okay, I just got it correct. So, that's basically how it works, and I got it correct in four tries. And then I can also ask for a new number that resets it and makes a new number. And then I can also use the Apple Watch Edition to do stuff, and then, okay, five is too small. Let's try 10, too big, maybe 8, um, oh sorry, smaller, correct. So yeah, so that's basically how it works, and now I'll show you the code. And yeah, the full source code for this tutorial will be available in the description from GitHub, and uh, yeah. So let's uh, start. Basically, this is the iPhone code, and then I'll introduce you to the watch code. So first of all, in the storyboard, we have two labels, guess label here and output label here. And then we have four buttons, uh, smaller, bigger, new number, and submit. Okay, so now we have two IB outlets for the guess label and the output label. We have three variables and a constant. So the three variables are the guessed number, which is the number you've currently guessed. Uh, the other variable is the number of guesses you've done till now. Uh, the other um, variable is the random number that the computer is comparing your guess against. Now, this is the constant, and this is the number to randomize till. So if this is, let's say, 300, it's going to make a random number between 1 and 300. However, if I make this 30, it's going to make a random number each time between 1 and 30. So basically, um, I have a new number function in the view to appear uh, a function from the UI view controller class, and that's why we're doing override. And I could put it in view to load since uh, these IB outlets wouldn't be loaded uh, in the view to load function since view to load happens before the view actually appears. Okay, and so next we have two um, functions that I created the big clicked and small clicked functions. Now, what these functions handle is when you have clicked on the button bigger or smaller, respectively. So basically what we're doing in the big clicked function is we are making sure that first of all you do not go over 30 and in the small click tour we're making sure you don't go over uh, I mean under 0. Uh and then so basically in the big clicked we're increasing your guess number and we're setting the guess labels text to that guess number. Uh, we're doing the exact opposite in small clicked. We are decreasing your guess number and we are also uh, setting the guess labels text to it. Next, what we're actually uh, here, what we can do just to decrease the amount of work if we change the um, number to randomize, we can set this to num to randomize. So basically, it'll just make sure you don't go over this uh, number instead of you having to type it in two places. Okay. So in the submit function, uh, as you can see, it's doing quite a lot of work. We're checking. If your guess number is greater than what the computer has generated, then we're increasing the number of guesses. And if the number of guesses is not equal to 1, then we're saying your guess is too big. 
and then these number of guesses tries. However, if it is one, then two big number of guesses try, since we don't want one tries. We want one try, two tries, three tries. And then we're do and then we are setting the guest labels text to uh, your guest number is greater than whatever the computer has generated. Just a little symbol to um, make more visual appeal. And then we're doing the exact opposite here. Uh, if your number is less than the random number that the computer has generated, we're increasing the number of guesses, doing the exact same thing here, except we're saying it's too small. And then uh, here we are telling them that uh, their number is smaller than what we had, what the computer has generated. And then else, if all these conditions fail, meaning the only thing left is equals, uh, it will it will uh, increase the number of guesses. Um, and then it's going to check if it's not one. Uh, if it's not one, correct in number of guesses tries. Else, uh, correct in this try. And yeah, those are the main functions. And then the new number function, which basically acts as a reset um, function. Basically, it creates a new random number between 1 and 30. But since the arc4 random uniform function will uh, generate a random number from 0 to 29, I'm adding 1, so if it's 0, it'll become 1. If it's 29, it'll become uh, 30. So then here, um, we're setting guest labels text to 0 and output labels text to nothing. And we're setting the number of guesses to 0 and the guest number to 0. And we're basically resetting those variables. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it for the iPhone end. And since this isn't uh, from the ground up, uh, just totally beginner tutorial, I'm not going to be showing you exactly how I created this watch app step by step. However, number one, I will be putting the source code in the description if you want to download it, take a look at it, uh, modify it to be your own. You have uh, permission to do that. And uh, also, uh, this week, or maybe even next week, I will release another watch kit tutorial uh, where I will basically um, teach you from the ground up how to create a simple app. Uh, I'm still not exactly sure about that, so just uh, keep looking at the channel if you're really interested into that. Okay, so this is the watch uh, storyboard. Uh, as you can see, this is the Apple Watch 38 millimeter storyboard, and so we have the guest label, output label, bigger, smaller, submit, and new number functions. I mean buttons, and so that's the storyboard. And then the uh, actual code for it, we're importing Watch Kit instead of UI Kit, and then uh, we don't really need this uh, import foundation. A Watch Kit imports that for us. So. All the there's really no change in the code. Um, all we're doing is instead of UI uh, view controller, we're doing WK interface controller, and then instead of UI label, we're doing we're using the WK interface label, uh, both for the guest label and the output label. Uh, the next change is that instead of view reload, we have awake with context, in which we are uh, putting our new number function. And then we have two extra default functions, will activate and did deactivate. Um, and yeah, that's really all there is uh, changed. And instead of using dot text is equal to for the labels, we're using the dot set text method to set the text of this label to this variable. And so I can also change this number to randomize. And yeah, or actually, what we can do if number of guesses not equal to one. Yeah, so we need to make sure it does either tries or try if they get it correct in one try. Then we just want to paste that there and make that try. Yes, yeah, so that's basically how the watch end works, and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel, um, like this video if you liked it, download the source code in the description, comment if you have any um, suggestions, improvements, or if you have a question, and yeah, goodbye.